Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami from civil engineers and today I have a topic in this video lecture that's about design of rectangular water tank that's why I, des uh, I decide this topic for today design of rectangular water tank because from many days I saw some comments and comment section and uh, some uh, civil engineering students are asking that sir how we can design a rectangular water tank and sir how we can find the volume of water for uh, six uh, family members and some are asking about 15 family members so uh, many students they have different questions so today I will clear your concept about design of rectangular water tank but you can use the same formula for uh, your rectangular water tank but it's just depend on the family members that how many family members do you have to design rectangular water tank for that so let's start what's new and how we can design rectangular water tank uh, its volume water capacity etc so before starting this video you must like this video and also subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates before starting design of rectangular water tank guys you must find volume of water requirement that for how many uh, family members you want to design rectangular water tank and how much water do you need to design rectangular water tank okay so as per is code indian standard code 135 liter is needed for daily use per person per day means for one person per day we required 135 liters of water so how we can calculate and from where we calculate uh, these uh, uh, these liters of water 135 liters so you can see for every person per day they need drinking for drinking 5 liters for cooking 5 liters for bath and toilet 50, uh, 85 liters for washing cloths etc uh, 30 liters and also for cleaning house we need 10 liters for one person per day right so when you add these are when you plus uh, these numbers with each other so it will give us 135 liters for example 5 plus 5 10 and 10 plus uh, 85 it become 95 liters of water plus 35 uh, 30 so it become 125 liters plus 10 it become 135 liters of water required for one person per day right now we have to find water tank size and capacity calculation remember guys now i will design a rectangular water tank for four members for four family members so you can uh, change it for uh, 12 members so it depend on your family members because it's very important because uh, in every construction works uh, we are thinking about uh, water tank design but it's especially rectangular water tank so you can change it uh, maybe you have uh, 16 uh, family members right and maybe some are uh, 10 maybe some are for 2 and maybe some are uh, 8 etc okay so you can change it okay but i have to design rectangular water tank for four members fa family members right so for typically family four members okay i have to design for four members so total water requirement is 135 liter for one person so multiply with four that's why because i design a tank for four members so 135 multiply Four. So we required 650 liters per day. So how we can design a water tank for 165 liters per day. So we all know volume of water formula is 1 cubic meter is equal 100, uh, 1000 liters of water means for 1 cubic meter volume there is 1000 liters of water or 1000 liters of water can be cover one meter cube or cubic meter right so are the density of the water is 1000 liters right now in order to get the size of water tank you need to mention at least one dimension length width or depth of the water tank so if you want to find look here if you want to find uh, dimensions are because we have three dimensions length width and depth of water tank so before this we have to uh, take one dimension it's depend on you if you want to take uh, uh, its uh, length or its width or its depth of water tank so from the above volume of water formula we know that one cubic meter is equal 1000 liters of water so one liter is equal to 0 0.001 cubic meter or meter cube that's why because you can see one liter divided by 1000 so one liter volume become 0 0.01 meter cube so here 
you can see our requirement is 650 liters because we have to design a water tank for these liters 650 liters so therefore 650 liters is equal 0 0.65 meter cube okay we need volume of water tank 0 0.65 meter cube that's why because 650 liters can be fill 0 0.65 meter cube volume of water tank okay it's so easy right because one liters volume is one liter water volume is 0 0.01 meter cube so for 650 liters of water the volume of water become our size of water tank become 0 0.65 meter cube right now assume our water tank depth for example I will take one dimension so you can take its length you can take its width but I have taken here depth of water tank for example 0 0.6 meter now we need two dimensions right length and also its width okay but the volume should be this when we multiply three length width plus depth so it will give us this volume and this volume will be sufficient for these water okay so our water tank size should be this one okay in cubic meter right now assume our water tank depth is 0 0.6 meter now note you can also replace your input if you know the length right so you can also take the length you can also take the width so for 650 liters look at here for 650 liters water tank size is l so l should be 1.47 meter 1.47 meter and the breadth should be 0.74 meter and the depth is already i assumed here right so this when you multiply these with each other so it will give us the volume of that will become 0.65 meter cube this is the volume of water tank it's so simple or you can see here this uh, the length of the uh, the length of water tank should be 147 centimeter right multiply the breadth should be 74 centimeter and the depth should be 0. Point, uh, sorry 60 centimeter right 60 centimeter so it means this is this should be the size of uh, just i'm using the other marker you can see here this is water tank now this is its diagram right so the length of water tank should be you can see 1.47 meter and the depth is already i have taken that's 0 0.6 meter and here we have the width its width should be you can see 0 0.47 meter 47 meter so this size of water tank can be designed for four family members for four family members you can see for it's designed for four member families so uh, it's depend on the family members i've already discussed the front of you but if you want to design your tank so you should be increase these how you can increase this for example if this is 0 0.7 so you can take it for example just wait so you can take it here is the length is 0 0.6 the depth is 0 0.6 so you can take it for example the depth should be because it's factor of safety okay that should be uh, 50 centimeter okay or you can say 0 0.5 meter now here you can see this is the length at uh, it's 1.47 so you can take it its length 1.6 meter now here is the width okay or the breadth this is 0 0.74 so you can take it about uh, 9 uh, uh, 90 centimeter or 0 0.9 meter okay so you can do this design for your design of a rectangular water tank so this is uh, 
So simple to design a rectangular water tank, how you can find, you can make a screenshot from this if you need, because it's very important for every civil engineer. That's why I'm discussing this topic. So design of water tank. So first of all, you should keep uh, in your mind that for one person per day, we need how much water? 135 liters of water per day. So uh, for drinking, for cooking, for bath, for washing, for cleaning. That's after that, uh, we uh, we required that how much family members do you have? Okay, after 130, after that, 135 liters water are required for one person. So how much family members do you have? So it will be multiplied with this. So it will give us total liters of water. So for that liters of water, we will find dimension of water tank means volume of water tank. So after that, you will assume the one dimension and from that you will multiply the other three so we will find volume of water tank so that will be the exact uh, that will be the exact volume of your water so after that we will increase uh, its volume that's why because there is factor of safety okay so when you uh, take a factor of safety so it become like this so you can do the same design for your design of water tank so uh, this is a topic which I have discussed the front of you. If you have any question about this video, so you just comments. I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.